Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, we got a few things I want to talk about today. The first one being a supposed retail leak for Persona 5 for Nintendo Switch. We're going to go over that. I also want to sort of revisit something that Shigeru Miyamoto said five years ago. It's about a particular game that he confirmed was in development that we haven't heard from since. And I think it's important we remember this as we head into yet another Nintendo Direct highly likely by the end of this month. Also, I have an announcement uh, to make on a new giveaway, a new giveaway that's going to happen when we hit 80. No, I'm going to go with when. I was going to say if. When we hit 80,000 subscribers, I have an extremely exciting giveaway that we're going to launch when we hit that mark. I can't wait to get all of you guys in. It's going to be absolutely insane. It's going to be crazy. And I know that you're going to be really, really excited. So. The first thing that we got to talk about, though, of course, is so a little bit of news here, right? Let's get into the news. Uh, and Persona 5, thank you for switch. So on the website, wog.ch, this is obviously a foreign retail website. It has Persona 5 R, you know, the game just announced for Xbox at the Xbox Bethesda Showcase, right? They did 3, 4, Golden, and, you know, Persona 5 R. Persona 5 R being the first one coming out. This obviously has opened the door to Persona heading to other platforms as well, previously just on Sony. So Nintendo has gotten other side versions of Persona, but never the main games. And this retailer has it listed for, for, for Nintendo Switch. Now, what's really interesting, obviously, you look at the box art. And the box art on this website, uh, about, the art's a little cut off, but the art's a little cut off on all the versions on literally the official website. So maybe that's just what the box art is going to be, or maybe it's all just placeholders. I don't know. All I know is this is an actual retail website that you can literally go and pre-order Persona 5R for Nintendo Switch right now. Will it ever come out? Will this be something announced at the Nintendo Direct? I don't know. But it's just worth noting that, hey, this is something out there at this specific retailer. Maybe they're leaking this early. Maybe it's a bunch of made-up bullshit. I don't know. But what isn't made up is something Shigeru Miyamoto said five years ago. So... You guys remember the Pikmin franchise, right? We got Pikmin 3 Deluxe on Switch, you know, a, a few years back. And honestly, the Pikmin franchise has been kind of left alone ever since. We did get Hey Pikmin back in the 3DS. Uh, and this confused some people because back in 2015, Shigeru Miyamoto essentially said the next Pikmin game is basically done or almost done. And then we ended up getting Hey Pikmin on 3DS, which was not the game that we were expecting. And maybe... Many people were like, well, maybe that's the game he was talking about. But there's a quote, actually, from 2017 at E3, after Hey Pikmin came out. So Hey Pikmin's already out the door. Can't be talking about that one. Where he was asked specifically in an interview about the next Pikmin game. And here, let me refresh your memory on what Shigeru Miyamoto said. I've been told not to say anything by PR, but I can tell you it's progressing. And this was on the next Pikmin game. Now we know Miyamoto has had his hands full. He's been working on the Mario movie and helping launch, you know, new amusement parks for Nintendo. So obviously, you know, Miyamoto's busy doing a lot of things, but this was five years ago that he told us after Hey Pikmin came out that a new Pikmin game is in the works. So yes, the fabled Pikmin 4 is something that Nintendo potentially has done and could just drop whenever they feel like it. So I'm just bringing this up, not because I'm expecting to see Pikmin 4, but it's been five years, so it kind of feels like something we could maybe hear about soon. It also feels like a nice game that they could announce now and drop a few months later. So I don't know, just setting the table that maybe we're about to get a little bit of Pikmin love. Now, let's get into the last thing I want to talk, to bit, talk today. Uh, we just got, came off Prime Gaming Fest six-day event, June 9th through June 14th. Had a lot of fun with that. Gave away thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff. It was absolutely insane. You guys were amazing. And uh, someone brought to my attention that we're actually approaching 80,000 subscribers. I hadn't paid a ton of attention to the subscriber count in some time uh, just because, you know, you can go a little insane as a YouTuber if you're just watching the subscriber numbers go up and down, up and down every single day. Uh, so... It came to my attention that during Prime Gaming Fest, we obviously hit 79.1 thousand subscribers, which kind of sort of solidified that we're highly likely not going to be dropping below, I'm um, sorry, 79, 78.1 thousand subscribers, which solidified that we're probably not going to drop below 78,000 the rest of the year, which made me realize how close we really are 
you know, we, we launched our podcast channel uh, this year, and we're already almost at 3,000 subscribers on that channel, and we're less than the subscribers of that channel away from getting to 80,000 on our main channel here at Nintendo Prime. And you know, I, I've been marking our milestones for a while by doing some sort of giveaway event, and I wanted to do something extra special for 80,000. Now, we're not starting this giveaway until we hit 80,000, so I'm not setting it up now. You can't enter this giveaway right now. But you can once we get to 80,000. So this is the first time you've seen a Nintendo Prime video and you're really enjoying what you see. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. So what are we going to give away? Well, we're going to give away three prizes. So there will be three separate winners. We're going to give away a life-size replica Hylian Shield, a life-size replica Deco Shield, and by the way, we're also going to give away a life-size replica Master Sword from Breath of the Wild. It's going to be based on Breath of the Wild. I have a little wear and tear on the hilt and stuff, but it will be a metal sword. Uh, so there will be some limitations on the sword. I will not be able to ship the sword internationally. That's just, there, there's a lot of restrictions with, with weapon shipments, but I will be able to ship the Hylian Shield and the Deku Shield pretty much anywhere in the world. So for the most part, this is going to be a giveaway for everybody because I know we have fans from all over the world and I want to make sure all of you have a chance to win something. Who knows? Maybe I'm able to pile in a few extra uh, giveaways from some partners and stuff. I, I can't promise any of that. I am obviously purchasing uh, the shield and the, and the shields, both shields and the sword myself. It's going to, you know, it's not going to be cheap, but uh, you guys are worth it. And I, I just wanted to commemorate us hitting 80,000 subscribers uh, in a way that is just really, really cool. Uh, and, and who knows, maybe we'll do a fun streaming event around 80,000 as well and just have a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's, it's going to be a really neat time, time, uh, if, and when we get there, uh, and obviously next up, the next major milestone will be 90,000. And yes, we will have something special for that. And then we'll have, you know, a really, really extra special celebration if we somehow get to a hundred thousand. So even if we've hit 80, you know, and, and you know, like, Hey, let me just see how this goes. Hey, just keep on subscribing because the giveaways and the celebrations and my thankfulness to the community, it's only going to grow and grow and grow the bigger that we grow. I believe big time in giving back to my community, uh, raising money for charity, uh, and just shooting the shit about video games. You know, this is a channel that is intended uh, for over 18, a Nintendo channel that's not a trying to appeal to everyone. Huh. Kind of a strange concept in a world where so many channels are trying to be family conscious. And we're just like, you know what? I am a, a, a dad. I'm also in my mid-30s. I spend enough time being, you know, family friendly with my family. I want to just be myself here at this channel. Uh, and part of myself is actually just being so appreciative of all of you. So even though we just did a big giveaway event, maybe another giveaway event is on the horizon. Maybe we get there before the end of this month. Maybe we don't get there until July or August. Or so. I, I have no idea. But you guys will ultimately decide that, all of you new viewers out there. Uh, I hope that you really enjoy the content and you choose to stick around long past our 80,000 subscriber giveaway event, not just because there's more giveaway events coming up, but because I think we actually have a really great community and I want to keep growing and fostering that community, and as does my dog. Fun fact, so as, as we're giving away a couple of Zelda items, my dog is actually named after Link from the Legend of Zelda franchise. Isn't that right, Link? Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Link! Link! Up! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.